Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to There Came an Echo. Echo, echo, echo. This is a game that I received through Games Matter. If you're not familiar with Games Matter, I've covered a couple games before from them. They are, well, it was run by Indie Gamer Chick, and now it is currently kind of sprouted into its own thing. It's a Twitter giveaway. Some indie developers will provide codes and actually give them out. There's, it's not a contest or anything. Literally how it works is you, they say, hey, I have this code. Do you want it? You say, I would love it. And you get the code. Assuming, of course, that you're not too late and they're not out of them. It's first come, first serve, obviously, but you ask, you get. The only condition, really? It, well, there, there's multiple conditions. I'll probably link to their website that they have up now. And But the main condition is you need to talk about it. Twitter, Facebook, Google+, wherever. And for those of us that make YouTube videos, they really like us to make YouTube videos of them. So, this is an interesting game. Uh, we're going to spend a little bit of time on the menu here because the game is voice activated. It's voice command. So, you've even got this voice calibration. So, what you're going to see is me attempting to figure out the initial part of the game. It's the first 17 minutes or so. And, yeah... I do okay, actually, surprisingly. Considering I kept forgetting that I had I had to push the button down before starting to talk. You'll notice a few times I start to talk at the same time that there's the little beep. It also doesn't uh, acknowledge obscenities. I, I don't know why. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this uh, first little look at There Came an Echo by Iridium Studios. Can you hear me? You should say yes. Affirmative. Affirmative. Okay, we're online. I'm Val. I'll take care of primary communications with the field. You just provide the tactical support. That's the easy part. You lucked out. When you issue a command directly to a field unit, you say the name of the soldier and then the command. It's pretty simple. Try saying, Val, stop talking. Val, stop talking. Mmm, no. But good job, I guess. Anyway. I should probably tell you now. We have to help this guy. His name is Corin. We need a view of his office. It's to the south. Design's a little tacky. Go ahead and move the camera by moving the mouse to the edge of the screen. You can also zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. He doesn't have a receiver, so we're just gonna have to call him. Hope he picks up. You know, um, we're gonna have to do some on-the-job training. We're out of time. They're here. Let's dial a cell. Hello? Did you know that there are men coming for you? Yeah, you got the wrong number. Huh, I guess he doesn't like advice. Hello? Corin, you should really listen. It's not a wrong number. Well, I don't want to buy anything, so... Corin Webb, 27 years old, employed at Ignite Defense in Santa Monica, California, developer of Radio Lock. You're in your office at the moment. There's a half-full coffee cup to your right and a pen holder with three pens in it. One of them is missing a cap. Who is this? Someone watching a screen on which four very unfriendly-looking men are heading up to your office. Jesus, what? What do they want with me? Radio Lock. It's an open source algorithm. You can look it up on Wikipedia. Uh, sorry. I need to use complete sentences. They want you to break Radio Lock. It can't be broken. The problem with all locks, Corin, is that they were made to be opened. There isn't even any hardware that can run it. I I, I can go with them. Explain they're why- They're not here to talk, Corin. And when they're done with you, they'll probably kill you. Not for fun, even though it might be fun. Why should I listen to you? 
How do I know you're not lying to me? You don't, Corin. But you have 50, no, 48, 47, uh, you have seconds before they show up at your door. Ugh, fine! Where do I go? My friend here is going to tell you what to do. Just listen and you'll be fine. Hopefully. Okay, here are the would-be assailants. Right now, you need to get Corrin out of his office to a safe location. There's an empty office down the hall, number 623. To issue a movement command, you need to call Corrin's name, then the command move to, and then the location in question. Go for it. Corrin moved office 623. Finally. The code to the door is 109324. Well, Morpheus, what now? Stay still, like the statues. Jesus Christ, you're weird. So timing is important here. We have to stay out of sight. For time-critical situations, you can follow a command with on my mark. Then as soon as you say mark, they'll execute the action. When it's clear, get Corrin to the stairs in the northeast corner. Use the on my mark command along with the move. Corrin, on my mark, move to the northeast stairs on my mark. That was a lot on my marks. Mark. Okay. Corin, move to the northeast stairs on my mark. On my mark? Seriously? I'm a cryptographer, not a marine, you idiot. Corin, lick a dick. Mark. Jesus! Oh, you can say pause game if you need to take a break. Oh, nice. Guessing I should do that? Corin, get the <laughs> hell out of my office! Not now, Darren. Get off the phone! You think your overrated code gives you some special access pass? Darren, I swear to God, not now. Corin, punch Darren in the face. Darren, stop! Can I get Marshall or Todd in here? Mr. Webb has repeatedly shown disrespect for both my work environment and my personal affairs, and I think it's time to... What? They're coming! Which way? Go left. Go right. Coming. Which way? Go right. Go right. Gonna need another decision here. Go left. Where the fuck are you going? God damn it, that son of a bitch! Give me something! Go right. Or you go straight. Wow, the intro level of that is pretty crap. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate when I'm less about to be kidnapped and murdered. If you need Corrin to suddenly stop moving, like the statues, just say hold position. Hold position? Okay. Or not. Corrin, all you need to do is head down to the third level of the parking garage. From there, we can get you to- No. What? Look, no offense, but I have no idea who you are or why you called me. I'm going to the police. That's a bad idea, really. Just awful. Save it, lady. But thanks for the help. That's a shame.
idiot. I'm calling him back. God damn it! The sh Shut up and listen. There's a black sedan waiting for you on parking level three. Its rear passenger side door is open. Move! I don't think... I don't think I can. You can follow our orders this time, Corrin, or you can get yourself killed. Your call. Ah! Well, now they're shooting plasma rifles. I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. You're... you're welcome. I'm shot. I think I need a doctor. You're fine. That wasn't a bullet, that was pulsed energy direction. You were electrocuted pretty badly, but it was a glancing shot. It's actually really cool technology. They accelerate hydrogen ions to- I don't care. I care about where this car is going, who those people were, and who you are. You're gonna tell me all of those things, or I'm going to dive roll out the door and into the nearest LAPD station at the next red light. Also, who's driving this thing? I am remotely, but I locked all the doors. It's Pardon my lack of Stockholm syndrome, but if you think you can keep Corin, me... shut up. Listen to me. Your algorithm is helping to protect a very dangerous piece of data. Really dangerous. No, it isn't. I told you before, the hardware needed to run Radio Lock doesn't exist. Yes, it does, Corin. Hmm. If the hardware exists... It does. If, then can't you, I don't know, blow it up or something? Even if we knew where it was, a system like that would have remote servers in place to mirror the data. We need to find the access terminal, and then you need to break radio lock. Okay, stop. There is a mathematical proof showing why radio lock is numerically impossible to break. It cannot be done. They aren't going to stop. Anything and to why, may I ask, are you so keen on springing to my aid? I can't say. Knowing any more could put you in danger. No need to pile on, I say. So you'll help? Pinky Square? I'm helping myself. And what's your name, by the way? I'm Val. Nice to meet you. And your partner? That's Sam. Say hi, Sam. Smelly dick pickles. Hi, Sam. I guess I have to actually say hi. Hi, Sam. Sam's a little shy, like I used to be. So what now? We're heading to LAX, then to Seattle. We have a safe house there, and there's someone in the area who might have some information. There's an earpiece in the bag on the passenger seat. It's yours. Happy... birthday. Put it on. Done. And is all this military code crap really necessary? I'm sorry, it's up to Sam. Sam, if you want to change commands, you can do that in the settings interface. <sighs> Things just tend to go wrong at airports. Yeah, airports suck. Your flight leaves in 40 minutes. Gate 33A to Seattle. All right. Malcolm Reynolds, status confirmed. Have a nice flight, Mr. Reynolds. Corin Webb, status confirmed. Have a nice flight, Mr. Webb. This is for real. Corin, make it with the chick on the right. Shooting and the running and the yelling should have indicated. That was rhetorical, Val. Did I get an exit row? Nope. <sighs> and you're in the middle seat. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Corn, we've got incoming. Get to the men's bathroom now. You, wait, what? The bathroom? Everyone out of the terminal! Just go! There should be a duffel bag under the rightmost sink. There's a power pack and a gun in it. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> He's still in there somewhere. Sam, tell him to put his shields up. Corn, shields up. Oh, uh, there's a little red button on the bottom of the gun. Holy crap. All right. Sam, I've marked a note on the map. His glasses will let him know where it is. The shots won't bring down the shield, right? Your shield stay up until your energy runs out. A few pot shots won't do much. All right. Corrin, move Alpha-1. Now what? Hmm, you have a gun and they're shooting at you. Sam, give him a hint. Open fire, dumbass. It won't kill them, right? 
Not unless you're within a few feet. Just shoot. Doesn't matter. Sam, he's horrible at this. Tell him to switch targets. Corrin, fire on target one. Got one! Corrin, fire on target two. Sam, one of the enemy soldiers is flanking Corrin. Make fire on target three. Retreat command. Retreat. Jesus Christ! Run, Forrest, run! Soldiers incoming. Your shields are stronger, so you should be okay. Should? And I'm running out of room here, Val. Yeah, um, working on that. Corin, you can flank the enemy here and increase your accuracy. Move over to Alpha 3. Corin, move to Alpha 3. Seriously, though, Alpha 3, you should go. Corin, they've got a whole squad coming into the terminal. You need to move, now. But there's only- Now! There's nowhere to go, Val. He went down the jetway! <laughs> nice! What are you waiting for? Pull the trigger, Corin. What? Corin, you have to. I can't. I can't kill someone. Well, at least wound him! Shoot! I... Corn shoot, dumbass. There. He didn't look very cool, but he probably still has friends. There's too many of them! Yeah. Indeed. Exit stage left. Hold your fire! What are they waiting for? I don't know. Corin Webb! I'm unarmed, I just want to talk. Corin, I know you don't want to kill anybody, but she is a really good person to kill right now. You've been shooting an awful lot for someone who just wants to talk. My men can get a little overzealous, I admit. I will open fire if you get any closer. Based on one of my subordinates' reports, I'm not terribly worried. This is in your best interest, trust me. Corin, don't! What do you want? We need to get out of here now. Excuse me? We've only got a few seconds. I told them I was negotiating. When they realized- Okay, I'm not buying the double agent line. Alistair, front and center, soldier. Put your shields down, Lieutenant. Ma'am? Shields down. You said you were unarmed! I lied. You can come with me or be here when the smoke clears. Your call. Corn, you can't just- This way! There's no plane! We're jumping onto the tarmac. We're what? That's a 20-foot drop onto concrete! Cry, baby. 15 feet. Roll when you hit the ground. God damn it! Let's move! They're right behind us! Corin, I highly advise you to separate yourself from this woman immediately. She's fine by me at the moment, Val! You better run, Junior. I will blow out the back of your skull before I let them get their hands on you, so move! Trying. All right, thank you oh, all for watching. Now. I hope you enjoyed that. Every time I have to say, you. Miranda, kind of a bitch. Adam, you ready to go? And I hope you enjoyed. Here Let me go, know sweetie. what you think about this game. Let me Don't know how you feel that. about it. Definitely go check it out. It's available on Steam. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you next time.